Good morning, dailies. Just having my breakfast, the most important meal of the day, and I'm planning my day, and, um, well, I have a few things on my mind. A few videos ago, I talked about uh, KFC and my experience there in Bangor, Maine, at the buffet, and how terrible it was. Well, I um, emailed the head office, and I also uh, went on Facebook and Twitter and all that. So I never thought I'd hear back from them. So just a few days after I did that, um, I got a phone call from the manager of the restaurant uh, apologizing profusely for the service that I got. And he said that should have never have happened, that I should have been offered a refund on my son's meal uh, because, well, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't partake in that meal. So um, you'll have to watch the video to find out why. Um, but uh, anyway, I don't know if it was the same manager that I was talking to that day and he got his knuckles wrapped or what the story was. Um, but I did get an email from, back from the head office um, and they did send a coupon to me in the mail from the head office for a, a $5 gift certificate towards the purchase of another meal at that restaurant. The manager also sent me some coupons for the meals to replace the meals that we had that day at any time that we come back in the future, um, which was you know, quite nice of them um, so that uh, we could go back and have it again type of thing. And hopefully the same thing would not occur. So it wasn't really a refund, but he couldn't do one at that point. But at least he gave us, uh, you know, some meals back in replacement of the ones that we had and, and everything that went bad. Now I got to say kudos to them for doing this and getting back to me. Um, it wasn't so much that I was looking for something in the replacement. It was the fact that the service was lousy and everything that happened that day and I just wanted to bring it to you know attention and don't want to see that happen again to anybody else and I, and I really uh, I was disappointed because we had had such great service there in years before and the food as well so so that being said I will say that I glad that they responded back to me so I have a couple of zucchinis and some freshly picked herbs from my herb garden which is pineapple mint and strawberry mint. I'm going to put some butter and these herbs in here with some Italian seasoning and do them on the barbecue. So I'm just going to split them down, put that in, wrap them in foil and put them on the grill. Ready to go on the barbecue. It's just um, the zucchini, peppermint mint and strawberry mint and some olive oil. And we'll put them on the barbecue right on those plates. And now for the secret ingredient, Jack Daniels barbecue, and Jack Daniels whiskey barrels on the barbecue. So I have them on there and down underneath I have the whiskey barrel chips burning right on the burners and really gives a nice flavor to the meat and everything else. So you can probably see there, you can see it in the background there. So Let's keep that covered and keep the smoke in there around the zucchini and uh, oh it's going to be so yum delicious. And what do you have to say for yourself Mr. Tiki? Happy long weekend everybody. Uka waka. And now I've added some onions. And man, does it ever smell good in there now. And now I pulled out from my fridge a flavored beer, Mort Sabite Creek. It says, uh, product of Belgium, 375 milliliters. It's a flavored beer, 4.5% alcohol. It says water, malted barley, wheat, cherry juice, and elderberry juice, corn, sugar, and hops. So let's give this a try and see what it's like. Well, the cork smells good, so uh, let's see now. First taste. Tastes good. Mmm, very sweet. Tastes like cherry, <laughs> just like it says. Mm. 
the other you bet you can definitely taste other berries in with it. Uh, yeah, it's very cherry flavored beer, but um, doesn't taste like beer. So, you know, thumbs up to this one. It's going to be a good uh, good drink. Mm. Very very tasteful. Yep. Yeah. Now. It tastes a little bit whiny, like sometimes when you have a wine bottle and you have that cork in the bottle, um, you can almost taste the cork a little bit. I don't know if that's because it's been in there for a long time or what, but it tastes a little corky, whiny. It's okay with me, it still tastes good. Yeah, it tastes real good. Okay, Les, uh, you might know more about this than I, but uh, if you do, uh, you might want to check that one out. It's really good. Uh, let me know if you do, and let me know what you think. Well, I'm truly stuffed. That was a great barbecue we had this evening, and uh, my aunt and uncle, and we're going to do it all again tomorrow with another couple. So, oh, yes, food, food, food. The end of summer Labor Day weekend. Uh, we don't really don't want to have summer to be ending. It's just the perfect day today. 22 degrees, no wind, no humidity, just darn right perfect. We'll end it there. Well, we had a good meal and everything cooked well. So that's about it. Let the flame go out and I'll say that's it for today. And talk to you tomorrow.